this is, this is, this is. All right, so it was a great day here in Burbank, Los Angeles area, doing some uh, podcasts with uh, some friends and some new friends. So we did uh, Joel Madden's podcast, Artist Friendly, great time. We really just basically just spent the whole time catching up, talking about what we've been up to in MXPX, what he's been up to, and of course, so many good stories, so many stories from us touring together, um, trading compliments. Yeah, we love those guys, uh, the twins, uh, the whole Madden family, the whole Madden, everything. You guys, class act, and, and of course, the Charlotte family. Of course, we love them. That's what we're talking about here, you know. We, uh, we spent a lot of time together on the road, and uh, it was really, really fun to just just let it go. Andy, what up? What's happening? How's it going? Sure. Thanks for uh, being with us today. Dude, it wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> it's always a good time having you guys around. Absolutely. The work is uh, it's, it's just the byproduct. Usually it's just the hangs that are yeah. the important part. That's why we do this. It's not for the money. I mean, we can be bankers, right? I could have been a doctor, but I decided to hang out with you guys. So here, yeah. here I am. I just, I just love this life. I don't know, whatever this is, I love it. That's why everybody thinks it's, this is like a simulation. Oh, it is a simulation, but it's a good one. It's a good simulation. <laughs> Find a way home. Everybody's loving it. Thank you for listening. If you haven't heard it yet, go check it out. It's, it's everywhere you listen to music. If you want a physical copy, you can get it at mhpx.com. We got merch, all that. Thank you so much for all your orders so far. It's been amazing. And we're just out here telling people about the record. We're telling people that uh, it's worth a listen. And there's a lot, there's a lot of MXPX in the future. There's a lot of MXPX in the future. So we're going to be out there on the road, Furnace Fest in Birmingham, Alabama, Friday night at Lightning. But then we're doing When We Were Young in Vegas, October 21 and 22. It's going to be really fun. Um, Andy's going to be there both nights. Both, both nights. Will you be there in, in, at Furnace Fest? Okay. Oh, yeah, Tom. Maybe, maybe. yeah. yeah. Hollywood Palladium <laughs> coming up January 6th. MHP speaks less than Jake, the Lion K, Smoking Popes. All headliners, all bangers, all some of our favorite music ever is on this bill. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm just gonna be sitting side stage all night watching the band. It's gonna be awesome. So those tickets are on sale right now. Thank you for everybody that's bought them because they are moving, so don't wait if you wanna go. Um, it's a sweet place. We're looking forward to it. It's gonna be great. MXPX at the Hollywood Palladium, January 6th. So, more to come. We're working on more dates, working on other parts of the country. Look out for it. Listen to the new record. Get pumped. Thank you for checking out the live streams. That was epic, wasn't it? Very epic. <laughs> what are you gonna say? No, whatever. I mean, now it's fair to admit, like, no. <laughs> It was epic. I mean, for us, it felt great. It felt great. So thank you guys for checking that out. Those that did. If you haven't already, you can check it out. And anybody's YouTube will post it. <laughs> Thanks to all our partners. But uh, we had a lot of help with launching this record. And uh, we appreciate it. And we got your back, anybody out there, all of our homies. Thank you for helping us. Uh, just let us know. We're ready. We're ready to help, too. So... We're out here talking about the record, find a way home. And we're heading home right now. Funny how that is. That's right. It was good. It was really good. Every trip we do out here is just quantifiably cool. There's uh there's relationships, you know, bridged. And there was, there was, you know, nothing bad about Joel and Matt. We've been friends for a long time. It's just been a minute since we've seen each other. That's all I'm saying. So it was really good to, like, reconnect, update. It's like, um, you know, your computer needs a new OS. Yeah, well, that's funny. Yeah, I've you got to update those apps. That's what this was. This is turning into a podcast. <laughs> It's kind of cool. I'm just filming the drive. 
just gonna start getting the like sidebar there. <laughs> This, I'm not really paying attention to the, the video, sorry people. A little bit every now and then, but um, I'm just thinking about the day and, you know, meeting up with Andy. Always a pleasure. Good times, man. Love good times. And these are, you know, every time, like, Andy and I have a memory when we're, we're in uh, New Orleans together. <laughs> and uh, we had a good time, you know. There were these bars on the on the on the streets that were in the alleys, and we're just like talking to the bartender, shoot the shit, doing drinking on the street in New Orleans. Yeah. So bought, bought beer on the street. I was half a glass of guy's ice chest. Yeah, out of the ice chest. He was selling shots. He was selling selling mis mixed drinks. That's just a different world from like California. You know, you're not going to see that here, but um, nor Washington, for that matter. Texas, I guess it could, I can see that so, somewhere. But anyway, that's not my point. That's not the point that I was trying to make. All I've been saying: check out the new album. It's called "Find a Way Home." A lot of good bangers out there. Um, songs that I feel like hit, you know, like Stay Up All Night, it's got, it's got, it starts like a ballad, but then it hits. It hits into like a punk song. And you're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting it to go fast. You know, like that's, I think we did some stuff that's like very MXPX. Like Tom, Tom likes to talk about Mountains to Climb is a song that I wrote because Tom sent me a, sent me a like, he sent me a text yeah. of a Rush song, and he's like, I'm not saying write a song that sounds like this, I'm saying Rush wrote that song. What's up? Uh, it's called Sickness 2. Sickness 2? Sickness. Sickness. CYG. CYG. Sickness 2. Anyway, they wrote that song to be the most Rush song ever, and I'm not saying that Mountains of Climb is the most epic speak song ever at all, but that's the song I wrote trying to follow Tom's direction. So Tom now and again just sends me a text or whatever and will say like, hey, maybe a song like this or like this is what we're missing maybe, you know, like something like that. Or if we're not missing something, like what he said with the MA, like make a song that sounds quintessential and makes me All right, we gotta sign off. We're here. Thanks for being part of it. All right, we'll release this someday. <laughs> this will get released. It's not released.